Keep it in the building! Give me a hell yeah! What is up, my man? What's up, man? How you doing? I'm doing great, man. Hell you yeah. know, been riding with a headache all day, but we're still kicking. and Figured I'd put some alcohol and nicotine and get it going, man. There you go. Get rid of that headache the, the old-fashioned way. I love it. Uh, Josh, for, for those that may not uh, know who you are, sir, could you please properly introduce yourself, let us know whereabouts in the world you are, and plug or promote anything you'd like? For sure. Um, I'm like a rapper, singer. I even do video games, so I actually stream on Twitch doing video games, too. Yeah. But um, I go by Keithin, K-E-I-F-I-N. It's spelled all weird, so people mistake the spelling all the time. But you could go to, like... <laughs> Instagram, Facebook, anywhere like that, and find me by just typing in Keithin, K-E-I-F-I-N. I also have a link tree set up, so you can hit link tree slash Keithin, find me that way. Um, that's the basic gist of it, man. I rap, I sing, I play video games. What, what, what are you gaming? What's that? What are you, what are, what are you gaming right now? <laughs> you know, man, I've been stuck on Fall Guys, funny enough. It's a kid's game. I played, it, I played it. Jump, right? but I played like, it. I gotta add you as a friend. I, I haven't played it in a while, and I've never. I've probably played it. I don't know, maybe thirty to forty times, and I've gotten second like four times. I've never won. I have fifty crowns, man. If you dude, want, I will get you the crowns. Hell yeah! You must be pretty good yeah, at it for sure. Mostly like that. Um, Apex. I really like Apex lately, man. I don't know what it is. Apex grind has been real. I played Fortnite for like three years straight, and I can still kind of do it, but I get a little bit tired of it, you know? No COD Mobile? I've tried it, but I don't know, dude. I'm so, so I say I'm such a serious gamer. I'm a serious gamer to the point that, like, I got my monitor in front of me, and I got to play it that way perfectly. It doesn't mean I'm that good at the game. It just means I'm so particular about playing it that I can't even play on my phone. For sure. No worries. I actually have zero games on my phone, oddly enough. I'm you, the weirdest person. You got a lot of Funko Pops, too, behind you. Which one Which one would you say is, like, your, your Holy Grail pop that you got back there? Oh, uh, well, you know, I got Dumbledore and Voldemort up top, and they're, like, the big ones, which are really dope. Um, I don't know if you can see them, but I got Baby Yoda down there that takes up an entire fucking shelf. It is a huge Baby Yoda. Dang. Yeah. And I got that for like 20 bucks, which felt like a huge steal, right? So, I mean, that one, I mean, I got an MGK pop and a Lil Wayne pop. Those are two of my favorite artists, so I'm glad I got both of them. I didn't even know they had a Lil Wayne pop. <laughs> oh, Lil Wayne one's a special edition. It's got the Carter Three backdrop on it, actually. It's like him sitting in the corner, and it's got the whole album cover on it. Oh, that is cool. Oh, yeah. That is cool. Uh, what song would you like us to start off with first? I think Whiplash for sure is probably one of my faves, but uh, it's your time right now. You can pick whatever song you'd like. Well, I guess I'll ask it like when you, when someone's like, hey, oh, so you make music, play me a track, and this is the track you go to first to try to get their attention. You know, lately, lately Whiplash has been the one for me. Whiplash is the go-to these days. I don't know. Let's spin it then. Whiplash is one of my favorites, so. Hanging out with Keefin. If you guys end up feeling the music, Please support him. Hit the follow button on Spotify. Show him some love. Who, do I, who does your audio production? Um, so I actually have a guy named Juice. Um, his studio is called AV Recording Studios. It's down here in the south side of Houston. That dude does like all my, he doesn't make the beats, but engineering, mixing, mastering, all that good stuff. Where do you get the beats from? I'm a beat stars baby, man. I mean, I'm really simple. I just go to beat stars, find something cool, and run it. You know. I used to do a bunch of SoundClick stuff, so I'm pretty sure you're probably familiar with SoundClick, also. No, actually. <laughs> really, SoundClick's yeah. like the like the OG. The o, there's probably close to a billion beats on SoundClick. Close. It's been out for over 20 years. That website. I used to make money off that website all the time when I would make beats nonstop. Uh, I'll send you a, a link to, to my sound click in, in a bit here. If, you're, if you just want any beat, just let me know and I'll just shoot it to you. Yeah, but uh, yeah. you never know. It could be, you know, it could be collabing. It could be collabing. That'll be perfect. I see you have a track called Touchdown. First, what's your NFL team? And then uh, can we jam Touchdown? I'm a Cowboys fan, man. I uh, 
Cowboys fan in Houston is brutal. Used to be a Panthers fan when it was Cam Newton, but as soon as Cam Newton left, I had to find a home and settle down with Dallas. We them boys, you know. You know, there's rumors that Cam Newton might sign again with the Panthers because, uh, uh, not Baker because Sam Darnold got hurt again. He got hurt again that recently. Yeah, he got hurt like like last week, and I think it's like a six week injury, so that automatically means Baker's gonna start. But now they need a backup. Cam knows the playbook. It's a rumor. You never know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm the biggest Cam fan in the world, but I think he's got to retire after this season. He's got to hang. Yeah, out. It's, it's getting there. I'm a I'm a diehard Vikings fan personally, but um, let's jam. Hey, you know, my childhood best friend actually. Um, we were friends until a couple years ago. He used to be my producer actually. He's from Minnesota, and he's a diehard Vikings fan too. Hell yeah, let's go. Give me a hell yeah. Stone. Let's jam touchdown. <laughs> wants to know if you're any good at freestyling and if you could freestyle i'm the worst heard i i, I, I will be so blatantly honest with you i write everything because off the top on the spot i am the worst for sure um, i i went through a small rap phase where i i could write raps like also and then try i tried trap a little bit and i did in like one song of ours back in the day but just like you said trying to just do it like instantly like that maybe one to two lines and then i'm a fumble and all over the place and it's over <laughs> i can write books of lyrics man like books on books of lyrics just when i feel like it but the creativity never shows up when i want it to ever you had to get clever with the writing and uh i like it uh let's see uh, to do some trivia with you, I need to know some more information about you. What is your favorite movie or TV show of all time? Something that you've seen a hundred times, or if I ask you anything about it, you will not get stumped. The Office has to be... And you still might stump me, man, because I've heard some trivia that's crazy, but I've watched that more than anything. So you've definitely run through all seasons, like, twice at least. Yeah, for sure, certainly. Okay. Let's play, uh, I guess we'll play two-time champ next, unless you have something in particular you'd like us to, to push and promote. You want to play COVID-69 freestyle? You can. It's a throwback, but that's the freestyle in the song form, if anyone wants to check it out. Throwback, you say? Let's see what you got. Let's check it out. I'm going to look up some office trivia. Yeah. Is there a particular artist that you've wanted to get on one of your tracks, whether it's somebody <laughs> huge or not, and uh, just maybe financially or the timing just wasn't, didn't work out? So, you know, funny enough, like, there was a point where I was about this close to, like, really going and getting a Paul Wall feature. I was this close, right? But then, like, you realize once you're actually an artist, the financial decision is tough to pull the trigger on. Because it's like, what if I throw that much money on it and it just doesn't do the numbers I want? So, like, sue me for it. But, you know, being that careful with my money and where I put it and what I do with it, that one almost happened. But, like, in a dream world, man, it would be somebody like Jadakiss or Ghostface. Like, Dang. super respected OG name or, like, I mean, I'm, I'm biased. I'm a huge MGK fan. If I ever got MGK on a track, that would be the end of it for me personally i went to a lovers and friends festival maybe you were at that yeah i went to it like two or three months ago and, and the locks was there now it's my first time ever seeing jadakiss and i there was so much going there's there's probably fifteen thousand people there so it was it was like literally like this the whole time no matter wh where you went and there's like three or four stages um and i forget who else was playing but i caught like three or four songs and then and then ended up going to a different stage after that but yeah lovers and friends festival was awesome Oh, I'm I'm a, I'm a diehard Jodeci fan, old school R&B group Jodeci, and uh, that was the first time I'd ever heard of them even performing uh, since I'd been a fan of them. I've been a fan of them for like 20 years, and that was the first time I ever heard of them performing, so I went there strictly to see them, and it was, it was amazing. For those of you who don't know Jodeci, that's Casey and JoJo's first group, kind of think like a sexier boys to men. Uh, your office trivia. Here we go. <laughs> In the office, Dwight takes Ryan to a farm in the Traveling Salesman episode. What yes. crop does Dwight grow on his farm? Wheat. What did you say? 
Beats. Beats is correct. Yeah, hell yeah. Easy. Easy. All right. Well, we start off with an easy one. I got to judge how much you've really seen it. It will get harder on the second one. Now, I'm going to pour up a shot, but I know you walked to the store and grabbed some claws or Dos Equis. I'm not sure. I don't even get liquor today. Go ahead and go ahead and bust out a claw. And uh, if you're down and uh, we'll chug together as we continue the conversation. Uh, if you could go on vacation anywhere in the world, you have infinite money. Where would be your dream vacation? Uh, you know, me and my girlfriend talked about it. I think Greece is the one at the moment. Like, just anywhere right there by the water in Greece, man. So, I mean, Jamaica was my favorite so far. But if I have to pick one I ain't gone to, like, Greece is at the top of the list. It just seems beautiful, man. Yeah, I would love to go there. There's there's almost no country you could name. Maybe Russia is probably the only one. (laughs) But just about anywhere else, I'd be down to go and uh, check it out. For me, it's like I feel that Houston has gotten so stale being here all my life. I'm like... Let me find the place that is least fucking like this and just go there and see what they're doing. That would be cool. That's a little grease lightning, baby. Hell yeah. <laughs> what is, uh, what's two time champ about? <laughs> you know, um, that one's really just flexing, honestly, just talking some of my shit, you know, just getting on my rapping, talking to whoever's listening type thing. And, you know, it's actually a follow-up to One Time. So I had an older song called One Time. And I was like, how can I double down with something fresher? So I came up with Two Time Champ, and it's the follow-up to it. Hell yeah. Let's check it out. Two Time Champ. I got one more question for you regarding the office, and my goal is to stump you. And I think this is a little bit of a harder one. We'll get there. Josh, what do you got What do you got lined up for, for the rest of 2022? What are you allowed to tell us? Um, so I got a show on September 30th. I'm performing that. I got a show October 29th. It's going to be really cool. It's called Haunted in Houston. And so it's like a Halloween theme show. It's a follow up to Hated in Houston 1 and 2, which I was on the second lineup. But it's like OG underground Houston artists. They've got, I don't know if you know Tommy Necro by chance. I don't know if y'all know him. Uh, So he's part of Team Trash, but they're. Houston Underground, they do, like, horror core rap, I think is how he described it. And they okay. do, like, some screamo on stage while they're rapping type shit. But they threw me in the mix. I'm kind of like the pure hip-hop artist out of that one. Would you um, ever Would you ever have a track that has, like, a horror core artist as a feature and so there is a little screaming on one of your things? I'm pushing him for it. So I actually, Tommy Necro is who I want to do it with. Um... I have an old song called 30 Hollows that had like kind of a, it was like guitar in the beat. It's actually on Spotify too. You can check it out, but I kind of want to remake it with like a metal arrangement, like maybe have the hook itself be super grungy, like some hard rock inside there. And then me rapping on the chorus. And I think in a perfect world, I get him doing the hook with like his style of metal type approach to it. Yeah. I could dig that for sure. Hell yeah. I mean, rest of 2022 the goal is like new sound so i'm actually oddly enough i keep switching my lanes but i want to do like some pop punk type stuff next so i've submitted a couple tracks before where it was like make a pretty little bitch or a couple songs i did with my homie kind of doing like a cool little pop punk rap type thing but i think i want to cover like pop itself i might make a couple pop songs where i sync i might do like some cool punk shit. I just don't want to be the rap guy. I want to do a little bit of everything, you know? Outside the box, keeping it versatile. I like that. 100%. I like that. Second office trivia. When in the safety training episode, Andy <laughs> Andy comes back from anger management and he wants everyone to call him what? Instead of calling him Andy, he wants everyone in the office to call him blank. That's a bitch, because, like, I want to say Drew. Is it Drew? 
Damn it! Yes! You are not, we are not able to stump you, sir. Damn it. Josh, pick a hot sauce one through 15. Just call it a number. Do you have that many? I have that many right here. I'll show you right here, my friend. Yo, um, six. And I actually have more than this. I just how many that can fit in this little contraption? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a whack one. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I feel like because you got both of them, I'm gonna go something way hotter. I'm gonna go with this ghost pepper Death Valley hot sauce. You, the one that you picked was a green sauce for like tacos. Um, not not hot at all. Sauce not, of everything comes in. Yes. What hot sauce did you grab? Um, it's a beat from Born, I think it is called. I don't, can we see it here? Is it? Oh, yeah, okay, just, just hold it up. Hold it up like that. And we'll be able to Where's see Where's the it. camera on this bitch? I don't know where the camera is on this computer. Am I catching it? No, no. no go higher. Oh, right there, right there. Yeah. Oh, that's my camera. I didn't know which camera was good. So it's like a from Born, which is small town in Texas, if I remember. And it says it is. Texas style hot sauce. It looks like a green one. Cause the thing is, this one has jalapeno. The red one didn't even say it had any peppers in it. And I was like, I feel like I'm cheating myself if I don't see pepper in the ingredient. Right. It's gotta have some form of pepper. This is not fair. Yeah. Was it know. water? <laughs> <laughs> let's uh let's do a little swig. I'll uh let me get this thing open. I didn't even open this bad boy. Alright, we'll jam, we'll jam what? What? While you open it. What? You haven't, you haven't, you already did it or no, not yet? No, I'm terrified. <laughs> you can handle it, don't worry. I'm putting a little bit on a spoon so I don't spit this everywhere or do something. My problem is I just smack it back real quick, but it hits my lips and then my lips oh. burn. So I'm How not. How much should I be consuming? Just a little spoonful, a teaspoon. We'll call it a teaspoon. It smells gnarly. Hold it up high and kind of go back like this. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Now we can see it. Yes! Give me a hell yeah! Look what I it's have not hot. Is it I tasty? It kind of tastes good. It's not hot at all. Well, we you tried. You okay. tried. At least you my, at least you went through with it. My girlfriend might be able to get something hotter from the fridge. I don't know. No worries. Uh, let's see. I love it. The hotter sauce, I'll try it. Because the thing is, it's mad flavorful, actually. I'm going to start putting this shit on everything. It's not that hot, though. Hell yeah. All right, cool. So we'll turn it up here in a minute, apparently. I have some hotter ones as well. I'm down to go even hotter. Um, wow. What's what's a... Whoops. Bring it up. Bring a hotter sauce. Mm, dogs talking pork. Anyway, listen. give them the, the maximum fuego. What's up? What's an artist or two that that you've been feeling that we may not have ever heard before? Ooh. Um, if we're doing like people I know locally, yeah, I've submitted I've submitted Cheeky before. He's another artist from Houston. I've been rocking with him for probably been five or six years now. Sam I've recorded. I've recorded a song in his closet before, like me and this dude are tight, and he's like my favorite local artist. Say his name one more time. It's Cheeky, so it's C-H-I-Q-U-I. And I think he's got one called, uh, type in Actin' Wild. I think that's the name of this cool video he's got going. Okay, there yeah, it is. right there. Yeah. Cheeky Freaky. Cheeky Freaky. Got it. YouTube doesn't seem to like it though. We got Sriracha and Cholula. <laughs> Sriracha. Take a pause for him, then applause. Yeah, I remember him now. We we have played him before. All is right. Green pepper. Is this any worse? I, I just like the fact that you're still entertaining the fact of doing more hot sauce. I just think that's cool. Yeah. She's coming with the sauces. She's I appreciate you. 
<laughs> so uh, I, I'll, I'll do... I think this is probably the hottest one I got. It's called Johnny Harpoon's Test Number Two. It's from our friends in Sky Drifter. They gifted it to me at the festival. It's got ghost peppers in it and garlic and all kinds of stuff, but it is really, really hot. Um, you know, I know, I know an artist. Um, they're from Houston. Their name is The White Noise, and they do underground shows with me. It's three guys, right? And they actually came out with their own hot sauce. Oh, that's cool. Um, I don't know how they did it, who made it, but. I'll figure it out and I'll send it your way in case you're ever curious for a new sauce to try. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be great. I'll definitely open it, test it right there on the spot. I, I appreciate it, man. That'd be that'd be awesome. Um, this watch just smells like shit. <laughs> we got time for a couple more questions. Let's see. Uh, who who inspired you to even pick up the mic back in the day? Who? What uh, MC were you like? You, you just looked up to so much. And you're like, I want to do that. Um. The. So MGK was the first artist, right, that I listened to religiously. But in terms of, like, the first, the OG, it was, I would say, a mix of Wayne and M. Because as soon as my parents allowed me to have, like, my own phone where I downloaded my own music, first two albums I had were Lil Wayne Carter 3 and Eminem Recovery. And it got to the point where I memorized it, like, word for word, top to bottom. And that was just the shit I wanted to do. And I mean, it started with just thinking like I wasn't allowed to cuss back then. I just mm. thought it was cool that they were cussing. And that's how simple it started. And I'm like, man, I just think that's cool shit. I mean, you see the confidence and like the way that they think they run the world and it makes you feel like, huh, that's got to be badass. So let me try and chase that feeling, you know? Hell yeah. You ever tried to speed rap like Rap God? <sighs> I mean, I could usually get through a few bars out of it, but the whole thing, no shot. And like in my own songs, I just find it so hard to do. And I find it really hard to do like effectively where you're still saying shit because the problem with Eminem sometimes is he raps fast just to rap fast. If you listen to what he's saying, it's like blah, 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 bubble jumble bullshit, right? Not always, not always because it's Eminem. You can't say that about Eminem, but... I find it more effective to convey messages a little bit more conversationally where people hear them, understand them right. one take, but it still sounds good. The lyrics impact instead of being like, blah, 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 blah. I hear you. Yeah, because some people can't even comprehend that shit. Right. He's, There's he's, people that didn't graduate high school and you're over here spewing them 500 words per minute. <laughs> they don't know what you're talking about, man. Are you, are you down for uh, maybe a fan or two to call in and ask you a question? Yeah. If you're watching and you have a question for Josh, a.k.a. Keefin, go on Instagram at Local Band Smokeout. I'll check it right now. And uh, if anyone wants to call in, you will not be on camera. I'll just hold the phone up right here. He'll be able to hear your question, ask him something, and uh, we'll see what happens. While we're waiting for somebody to do that, otherwise we'll just take some chat questions in general. I just think it's cool to kind of do it that way. Let's play Let's play Papa. Yeah. Yo, did you just name drop Jodeci? Yeah, I was gonna tell you about it when you brought it up earlier. I, I name dropped once. It, it was just, uh, you know. So full disclosure before I hit you with the disrespect, I ah. have not listened. I have not listened myself personally, but as a nod of respect, I've always heard people talk about it. So I'm like, it's 100 percent baby making music. It's the best way to describe it. It's baby making. Music. I mean, I'm gonna look at it after this. As soon as we get off of this, like. I'm listening to it while I play video games. 10 out of 10. Another fun fact about Jodeci, that's how uh, P. Diddy got famous. He was a janitor. He was a janitor for Jodeci's studios wow. when they recorded their first hit song called uh, Forever My Lady and oh, Come and Talk to Me. And uh, some somehow he convinced the engineer to let him remix it. And that ended, they ended up making the album that's why Diddy claims that he invented the remix. A little fun fact. Um, and my favorite artist doesn't show up without Diddy Combs either. So here we are, you know. There we go. It <laughs> happen without him, you know. No one ended up calling in through the Instagram, but uh, is there is there any is there any final things that you'd like to to shout out? The floor is yours. You can plug or promote anything you'd like. Um, the floor is yours. Oh man, um, you know. 
I appreciate you having me, first of all. I'll wrap it up by saying thanks for coming. I appreciate speaking with you face to face finally as much as we can until yay, I got yay, 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 yay. Um, but I want to say shout out to your channel and what y'all are doing because recognizing artists on any level, whether it's underground, I mean, I've got like 10 monthly listeners. You're doing anything from 10 people to thousands. And that's a huge fucking deal, no matter what anyone says. Big deal. Um, to anyone watching, never sleep on underground music. You know, you got to support the small people as much as the big people. Because there's so much hidden talent in the world that isn't being found. Which is why I love the shit out of your channel, first and foremost. Um, me, personally, um, go check out the Spotify. I mean, I've got a range of different music, you know, whether you like super trappy stuff, if you like cool little pop punk stuff. I mean, I've got older stuff where it's like recorded in a closet, crappy stuff, but crazy lyrics. I've got anything and everything within the catalog, you know. Um and aside from that, just find the link tree. I'll uh, type it in chat here, actually, so people can see it if they want to. Make it easier to hit. Yeah, um, definitely. Please do. But, you know, just stay connected. And if you hit that link that there is, I mean, it's anything from all music platforms to social medias to my Twitch channel. I mean, I do everything. Like, if you enjoy anything at all that entertains you, I probably do it in some form. So it's worth He's your man. Oh, yeah. um, aside from that, I don't know, man. I don't like to boast on myself too much, but you know, I think that just was... feel free to get in where you fit in and just follow along with what makes sense, you know? My final question for you, sir. I ask every artist that we have on the show the same final question. What is a piece of advice somebody in the music industry has given you that kind of changed things for you, I opened some eyes, or a terrible mistake you made early on in your career that you don't want a starting rapper or band to make? I think the most important thing, and I don't know if one person even told me, but like my biggest finding is like, you have to be ready for criticism. A lot of people are not, I mean, you have to be so ready to hear no a thousand times. I mean, I'm still hearing no every day. I'm messaging people music every day and not getting replies. Like, you're going to hear no a million times before you hear yes. But in the same sense, it makes the yeses so much sweeter. It makes it so beautiful to find, man. So, like, you know, like, bask in your accomplishments a little bit, but be prepared to hear no repeatedly. It's never going to be easy, and if it was easy, it wouldn't be worth it. I mean, I'm in year five, six of making music. I used to be in a group of three people. I've been doing it five or six years, and I've got a handful of Spotify listeners to show for it, but it's not going to shut me up or stop me because you just got to keep it. I love it. Yeah. Keep, keep hustling. Always. Always. Josh, this is a lot of fun, man. I appreciate you. Whiplash, I think, is still my all-time favorite of yours, so I'm going to send everybody out on Whiplash. Guys, if you had fun during this, please support Josh, a.k.a. Keith, and hit that follow button, and uh, definitely show him some love. He's totally worthy and deserves it. Josh, this is a lot of fun, brother. I appreciate you bringing some hot sauce, partying with me. I was unable to stump you, sir, which I would was not happy about that, but it is what it is. This is a lot of fun, man. You'll get me next time. <laughs> Stay safe, and let's chat again soon. You too, brother. Much love, man. Much love sending it back. Also, Kevin! Give me a hell yeah! Thank you, sir.